Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to define, define a load case. So in order to apply the, the forces to the model, I want to define a load case. So I'm going to define an earthquake load case. Right? We'll also later define dead load case and live load case and things like that. So the process is we define load cases, and once we have the load cases in place, then we do load combinations. Right? So I define my earthquake, I define my dead, I define my live. And then after that, I say, OK, well, I want to do 1.2 dead, 1.6 live. Or I want to do 0.9 dead plus some, I, whatever the other one is, plus earthquake. Right? And do the different load cases that you want to do. Load pattern, that's what I need to do. Sorry. Load pattern. So load pattern and then load case from load pattern. OK, so we've got dead. This is where I need to define load pattern. OK, I think this is where I do it. EQ type. Quake, weight multiplier zero. So I don't want to include the weight in the earthquake, right? The weight will just stay in the dead. And OK, so then add new. There we go. So now we've got earthquake, right? Doesn't include the dead load in it. That's what we want. So now what I need to do is I need to define loads. And I need to call those loads earthquake loads. That way, when I do my load combinations, it knows that those loads are in the earthquake. Right, type of load case. OK, so now what I want to do is I want to go joint by joint and assign joint loads. Or design, let's see, right there, joint loads. So assign joint loads, forces. Right, so you can displace it. You can put a force on it. We generally want to put forces on it. So I want to do a earthquake force. And I want to put in the global x direction 187. 0.3, and I want to verify I'm using kips. OK, sounds good. So I got 187.3. And apparently, I did something wrong because it put it on this one down here also. OK, so we'll fix that later. Apparently, I had that joint down there selected too. So we'll select this joint. We'll do assign joint loads, forces, earthquake. Uh, 134.3, okay, next one down, assign joint loads forces, uh, 84.1, and now we need to fix this bottom one. That bottom one should be 37.7, so assign joint loads forces, joint loads forces. And this wants to be 37.7. And notice here, I'm going to say replace existing load. right? So it'll just fix it. We don't want to add it to the existing load. We want to replace. OK. So now we've got all our forces on there. OK. So those are just the earthquake forces. So now, just for fun, right? we could run it. Run. Oops, sorry. And then we could look at displacements from earthquake forces. Display the deformed shape from the earthquake load, right? And that's how it deformed when I pushed on it with the earthquake load. I could also say display forces and stresses in frame elements. So I want to look at the moment due to the earthquake load. All right, so we see that they're all triangular moment diagrams, because there's no dead load or anything in there. It's just lateral load. OK, but this is not really what we want. We want all the load combinations. So now we need to put in dead load and live load, and then do all of our combinations um, before we actually pull out the forces that we need to design elements for.